Hi, my name is Megan Allen. I'm going to teach you how to identify different macroinvertebrates that live in Michigan's ponds and streams. For some context, macroinvertebrates are the things that are eaten by things like tadpoles, pumpkin seed, sunfish, and bullfrogs, as well as a bunch of other things, and they eat things like zooplankton such as daphnia and other rotifers. First one is one you're going to know about. Mosquito larvae are these wiggly things that like to um, attach themselves to the top of the water. And they, uh, they just look like a bunch of squigglies. And they are eaten by dragonfly larvae who can eat their weight in mosquito larvae in 30 minutes. If you look at this guy, his face actually looks a lot like a dragonfly face, but the bodies look really different. Damselfly larvae look similar as adults, but as as nymphs, they actually look pretty different. They are long and slender. They have these gills coming out of their abdomen. Caddisflies can exist in three different forms. We have case-building caddisflies that build their homes all around them, net-building caddisflies that make kind of like a web that they use to shelter in, and free-living caddisflies um, that use no shelter at all. Fish flies get huge. They're the things that are really good for finding, for fishing for large fish. So we have a Dobson fly larva that looks like this. These are filaments that help it to swim, possibly also act as gills. And this is an alder fly larva. Stone flies and may flies are pretty similar, but the difference is that stone flies have two tail filaments at the end of their abdomen. Um, and mayflies have three. Mayflies have external gills as opposed to no external gills like the other ones, like stoneflies. Um, now we come to the order of diptera, which are things like blackflies and craneflies. They look really different than their adult versions as larvae. We have cranefly larvae that looks like this, nice and segmented. Blackfly larvae look a bit like bowling balls. Then we have the order of crustacea, which includes things like crayfish, scuds, and aquatic sow bugs. Mussels, snails, and worms. Freshwater mussels are nice and shiny on the inside, but they are filter feeders. This is a mouth part of a freshwater clam. Um, these are Chinese mystery snails. I suppose they're invasive. Um, leeches, flatworms, and aquatic worms are also able to be found. And last but not, la not least, we have water beetles um, and water bugs. This is a giant water bug. Ripple beetles, whirligig beetles that um, uh, swim around on the top of the water. Water pennies attach themselves like little scales to rocks. Predaceous diving beetles are just what they sound like. Thank you so much for listening to my presentation. I hope that you learned a little bit and have fun out there. Thanks. Bye.